You better get that jab so you don't lose your job at the chicken factory, you piece of shit. <laughs> you better get your jab, Shalene. Weren't you here this morning? I could have swore I seen you here this morning. Who? Me? No, that that was my brother. Why am I red? I turned red after I got the jab. Is that all you did? Well, I smoked a bunch of meth as I do every day and then ate five dollars worth of chicken fingers at Applebee's. You are the second guy who came in to say this today. There must be something wrong with the chicken fingers at Applebee's. Since the government states the jab is completely safe and effective. A new strain of the virus has emerged linked to the Applebee's chicken beers. The virus has turned normal people into red zombie-like creatures with an insatiable urge for Sudafed. Shown here wearing a local CVS in Richmond, Virginia.
My name is Joe Biden, and I love ice cream. Come on, man. What are we talking about? Today in Washington, D.C., Applebee's zombies sacked the White House and demand a cargo ship of Sudafed be released of the President Biden and his cabinet. The Applebee's zombies have been given their container ship of Sudafed and are now dragging it across the East Coast back to the Appalachians. Today in Washington, D.C. Yo, that wasn't no chicken fingers, son. Nah, you know they smoking that pack. Yeah, they smoking that glass. Them motherfuckers is productive as fuck. I still don't see them making that much, though. I seen a meth head one time, man, took two cars, cut them in half, and put them back together in one weekend. You think that motherfucker run? Nah, that motherfucker's put the two back halves together. That some bitch had no engine or fucking steering wheel. Yo, I said they productive, not small. We need these people to take responsibility for their actions. We the people demand answers from Applebee's. We want to know what they put in the chicken fingers that's turning us into zombies. The jab is safe. The chicken fingers have no knuckles. Why are we avoiding the elephant in the room? When did America start negotiating with terrorists? Nobody cares about knuckles, Jim. The people deserve answers. I'm telling you, the jab is completely safe. Elephants have no knuckles either. Applebee's must be held accountable for this outbreak. The jab saved four children from a burning building. I want to know why we call them fingers when they have no knuckles. The jab has the prettiest eyes I have ever seen. Applebee's stock now worth less than a penny as CEO testifies in front of Congress. In other news, Sudafed shortages nationwide as Applebee's zombie numbers continue to grow. Jab gave me a rim job last night and held me for hours afterward, Bob. Good to know, Bill. Sir, we have no idea how chicken fingers cause them of this. Are you telling me you have no idea how you caused all of this? Sir, we have no idea how this happened. So you admit this is all your fault and you have no idea how you did this or how to fix it? Sir, we did not do this. Chicken fingers cannot cause zombies. Last night I was staring into the eyes of the jab as we made love and I am now pregnant with the jab's baby. Tell me. What will I tell our child when he asks why he cannot have chicken fingers because of what you created? Ma'am, congratulations on your child, but I tell you, chicken fingers are not causing zombies. You, sir, are causing this, and I blame you and your evil, rich, white friends for our current problems. Bro, this shit's getting serious. I fucking feel you. These motherfuckers ain't playing. I told you there was something in that jab, son. Nigga, don't start with that 5G bullshit again. Nigga, I'm saying it making molecules rotate on the axis. 
These niggas is methed out, and there ain't no 5G out here, son. Yo, I'm saying they put that shit in that jab. Now that shit I can get with. Ain't no way these meth heads that fucking productive. Yo, son, what we gonna do? Nigga, don't ask me. My bitch is pregnant again. Which one? All of them. Fuck is that? Tom? Motherfucker, how the fuck you know my damn name? Hey, it's me, Floyd. What the fuck happened to you? Why the fuck is you all motherfucking red and shit? I got those chicken fingers. Man, get the fuck out of here. Ain't no fucking chicken fingers ever turn a motherfucker red like that. Yo, what? Is that what the doctor said? The doctor says the jab is... Safe and effective. That doctor is clearly lying to you. Now, what the fuck is it you're doing out here? Dude, you got any shine? You fucking junkie. You think you can just stand here and sneak around my motherfucking yard and I'm just gonna motherfucking give you some goddamn shine? Dude, I got money. Oh, you have money? I like money. But you're gonna have to do me a favor and stop bleeding because we have a strict no dirty meth heads dying in our front yard policy. It's unhygienic and bad for business. How am I supposed to stop bleeding? You shot me! So you're saying that you cannot stop bleeding on your own? Well, that's okay. I have just a solution for your problem. Ah! Help me, Morgan Freeman! Help me, Neil deGrasse Tyson! Help me, Logan Paul! Well, when you're done with that, let me know. Um, I'll be back at the house. <laughs> you gonna say thank you? For what? I stopped you bleeding. And by the way, you owe me an extra $5 for the gas. But you shot me, and you lit me on fire. And I stopped you from bleeding to death. You're welcome. Now, what do you need? I got apple pie, lemon, straight smoke. What you want? I just need some pie. All right, it's 40 a quart. Plus five for the gas. It's 45 altogether. All right. So why you want shine? Don't y'all motherfuckers have that Sudafed shit? That shit's almost gone. Yo, that gives me an idea. You down for a ride? Hey, yeah. Uh, by the way, where's Mike? Man, that dude, I love him. But he became a black Hebrew Israelite. Get on the Republicans because the Democrats ain't no better. There was more black and Hispanic people locked up. During the Clinton era than any other president. Because you're Uncle Tomahawk. That's right. So what? Yo, look, man. I asked him to draw me raping a dolphin. <laughs> and he decided instead to go find Jesus. Dude, I thought I was fucked up. You is fucked up, nigga. You smoke meth, drink Sudafed, and are married to a female who turns dudes gay with her toothless blowjobs. Maybe you should go to church and, like, ask God for forgiveness for all, like, the horrible, awful things that you've done, my friend. Like, are, are you really thinking that you're that far above things that, like, God actually doesn't exist? If God loves you so much, why would he pitch you into hell for not believing in him with no proof of his existence? God is supposedly all-knowing and all-seeing, but allows children to suffer. My life is suffering. Look at me. I'm red, hooked on meth, abused, and shit on constantly. I work at a job where every day Mexicans come in and get hired for less than I make. I haven't had a raise in 20 years. My government wants to turn boys into girls. We have a potato for a president, and if I bitch about any of it, they call me a racist and ban me from speaking. Jesus either doesn't exist or hates me. You need Jesus, motherfucker. Now put the dress on and get in the fucking truck. I don't want to wear the dress. 
This ain't the first time you've worn a dress. Shut the fuck up. Damn it, I guess I'm gonna fucking put on the dress. So, since we ride, yo, let me ask you something. Why is you red? I don't know. The doctor said it's because of the goddamn chicken fingers. You fucking junkie. You don't think it's from the fucking jab and you smoking meth? No, it's it's gotta be the chicken fingers, yeah? What, are you fucking high right now? Maybe. Why would the doctor lie to me? Dude, they get paid to push medications. Big titty bitches be coming to the office with a duffel bag full of pills and sucking their dick in the back. Why you think when you go to the doctors you only see a nurse? Like, yo, it's because they're in the back getting their fucking dick sucked. Oh, come on, man. Why would big titty bitches be going to doctors with pills? Bruh, the manufacturer sells its pills like hookers or meth head chicks. I bet you ain't smoked the first time on your own. Like, you ain't invent meth, man. Some bitch pushed that shit on you. One of your fucking homies at one point was over here fucking abroad, and she pushed it on him. Like, legitimately, this is how fucking drugs work. You can't be serious. That's how things work? Man, why would I lie? There's literally no reason to lie, son. So you think the jab did this to me? They said it was safe and effective. Yeah, that Congress bitch also said she was pregnant to the jab, nigga. I was the jab as we made love, and I am now pregnant with the jab, baby. You can't get pregnant from a fucking vaccine. That bitch is either gonna have jab Jesus or she got knocked up at one of those DC orgies the president's son be throwing. So why would the jab turn me red? Bruh, there's more to that shit than you think. These junkies went from fucking raggedy bitches and working at a tire plant to kidnapping the president for Sudafed. I don't know what is happening, but I'm gonna need to get me some shit off that shit. What? Oh no, no. We ain't going there. Look, it'll be fine. I just need a few cases to secure some goodwill. You're gonna get us killed! Let me out! Shut the fuck up. We're gonna be fine. Once we get over here, I'm gonna drop you off. You distract them for just a little, and I'm gonna gap them a few cases, alright? No, 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 no! Man, how are you gonna fall down? I broke a heel. <laughs> I was raped. Man, you can't rape the willing. I was not willing. 
you're a furry who is married to a woman who I'm pretty sure she gave you a blowjob. Your dick would be turned into shredded mozzarella cheese and whose pussy, I bet, has the next coronavirus bat flying around in it. Dude, come on. Be real. You're an asshole. You know that? I'm an asshole who has moonshine, though. Yeah, you got a point. See, I don't rely on the kindness of others. I put myself in good situations to be successful. You know what luck is, Floyd? A rabbit's foot? No, dummy. It's when preparation meets opportunity. So? Well, be prepared. That's what the Gorilla Scouts taught me. We're gonna run this bitch here soon. And by we, I mean me. But you're gonna be like my sidekick. And as we all know, sidekicks are always safe. Didn't Joker kill Robin? Nigga, I don't know. I don't read comic books. You can be like the goose to my maverick. He died too. Then you can be like the bubba to my gump. Dipshit, he died too. Look, man, you side kicking it up. Just accept it. Ugh, this is gonna suck. Well, at least it matches your wife. She don't suck. Ain't what I hear. Says who? Look. Don't ask questions. Go in there and say hi to your bitch. Go to sleep. Oh, and get a shower. You got stuff everywhere. I don't want to shower. I swear, if you don't shower, I'm going to spray you with the garden hose and then beat you with it. Fine. Why are you covered in cum and in a dress? I was raped. That's what you said last time, you fucking queer. So I woke up today, right, and I've been sick for like three or four days. I'm coughing and hacking and sneezing and all that type of shit. And I sit down to take a shit while I'm filling up the fucking bathtub, right? And like I have a turd, like one of the solid ass turds, like a solid ass, like like I ate some roughage turd, like coming out of my ass, and I just start coughing. And I swear to God, it felt like my butthole was gonna fall out into the fucking toilet. Like I thought I hurt myself. I thought I broke. My rectum, like I was got to walk through the rest of my life, right, with my my motherfucking butthole whistling everywhere that I went. Motherfucker, I'll tell you right now. What I like is when I fucking sit down on the toilet to take a fucking piss, and then I end up taking a shit, and it just falls out of me, buddy. Yeah, best feeling ever. But wait, wait, what you're saying to me is that you sit down to piss. Is that where we are right now? You sit down to take a piss. Every now and then, yeah, I do sit down to take a piss. Just like sometimes I have the urge to watch the Kardashians when I wake up. And how often do you have the urge to get up and watch the fucking Kardashians? Uh, the past couple days. So ever since you got gang banged by those zombies in front of the boat? I watched a few episodes, and Kylie is such a slut. What the fuck just happened? What do you mean? How the fuck did you do that? What? Look at your shirt. Shit, I'm not doing this. We got to get you to a doctor right now. Hey, can we stop for a latte? What the fuck is a latte? I don't know, but I think it has almond milk and cream. Let's go right now. Is this necessary? Hush, and if they ask you, you were Red Coon Hound. I'm not barking. So, what seems to be the problem with your puppy? I think this dog is a fucking gay homosexual. I'm not a puppy, I mean... Well, this seems to be a case of the gay buttworms. What? Well, according to the epidemic in Qatar, there is a parasite that causes homosexuality and craves semen. Is there a cure? Yes, you need ivermectin to clear it up, but 
It has been outlawed, except for horses. Shit, Floyd. We're going to have to get you shoes. You're not pounding horseshoes on my hands. Well, there goes my plan. Fuck. Okay, Doc. How do we get ivermectin? Well, there is a ply hidden, but you're going to have to get it off of Toa Rogan. Why? Well, he bought all of it just to keep himself straight. Well, Floyd, we're going to need to go to Texas. Oh! Avocados and taquitos. You better hurry. He is going to need that ivermectin before he ends up like this permanently. Permanently? Yes, I say you have six or seven months. Okay, thank you, Doc. It's appreciated, man. Okay, Mr. Seymour Butts. Please see reception for payment. Seymour? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seymour Butts the third. That's me. Yo, come on, Floyd. Yo, we gotta go. Seymour, do I have to ride in the bed again? Hey, Doc, is this contagious? Only through sexual contact. Yay! I can ride in the front. Asshole. Caroline calls me just like Texas often has. But I'll take Pennsylvania over California grass. All right, I gotta make a stop. Ugh. What the fuck you hit me for? You impregnated my wife! You ain't got no evidence of that. And there isn't one of us that doesn't want to be someplace else. But this is what we do. Who we are. Live for nothing. Or die for something. Okay, I may have impregnated your wife. Fuck you, you piece of shit! Are we gonna stop for lattes? Shut the fuck up, Jimmy! Yo, his name is Floyd. Shut the fuck up, Floyd! Don't push it, I'll give you a war you won't believe. <laughs> Look. He got the gay butt ones. You're the only person I know who has ever been to Texas. And we need to get down to Toe Rogan's so I can get him some ivermectin. Why would I help you? Or Jimmy? And his name is... You know what? Man, listen. You help me out, and I'll help you out with... Um, what, what the hell is this kid's name? He is Rambo. Who the hell names their kid Rambo? Did you look at him? I'm coming to get you. Look, you help me out, and I'll help you out with him. And on top of that, I got shine. <laughs> you got alcohol. Well, that's a horse of a different color, my friend. You know who you are. What you're made of. Wars in your blood. Don't fight it. You didn't kill for your country. You killed for yourself. God's are never gonna make that go away. When you're pushed, killing's as easy as breathing. Damn, this kid is intense. Oh, no. you don't know the half of it. When I sleep, I gotta put him in a fucking cage. He keeps trying to steal my fucking kidneys. The little shit. Thank you for tuning in, Trash No State. We're coming to you live from the Trash No Park. You already know. If you haven't heard of it, there's a buttworms epidemic spreading across the nation. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Man. Let me turn this up real quick. Rogan show that they can get rid of it with the ivermectin. But let me tell you here, folks. All right. We've got an herbal remedy. You just go ahead and uh, Owen Benjamin was telling everybody how you get rid of them. It's just like the grabblers. You got to go ahead and drink turpentine. All right. And then if you want to improve the, the strength of it, you might want to add some pine cones and boil it before you drink it. 
and I heard some of the Cherokees over there were soaking tampons made out of Indian hair and stuffing them up their buttholes to get rid of them. So, you know what I'm saying, folks? There's herbal remedies out there. You don't got to worry about, you know, groveling for Joe Rogan. We can get rid of the grabblers and all the buttworms. All right, here, folks, you heard it here first. You know, turpentine and pine cones. All right, you already know we're going out live with another hit. Get butter from a duck, blood from a turnip green. Ain't nothing changed, country like a butter bean. Appalachian bread, hound dog king. Pops taught me get it, then by get it, he meant any means. But God rest his soul, I gotta keep it moving. I stay above the mud hole so I can keep from losing. Got a knack for catching bluegills, a thing for cooking Brunswick stew. If it ain't got some snapping turtles, that just ain't gonna get it done. Yo, Floyd, you hear that? So all I gotta do is drink turpentine and stick pine cones up my ass? Oh yeah, that's what the radio said. I don't wanna drink turpentine. Well, I'm gonna tell you like my man's told me. It doesn't matter what you want! I wanted taquitos and avocados. Why is this a thing? You got a parasite in your ass. You need to get it out. I'm starting to like having something growing inside me. I feel special. What you saying? You starting to feel like you like a pregnant, expectant mother and shit? I feel it moving around and it's my body, my choice. Floyd, I know you're looking forward to, you know, seeing your little bundle of joy. But you have a fucking buttworm from being raped by a bunch of transgendered fucking mess zombies. But my baby, will it die? It'll just pop out and we'll take it to go live on a farm. It'll be around cows and chickens all day long. Yeah, and chickens and cows? Uh, will there be piggies? Motherfucker, I swear to... Yes, Floyd, there will be piggies. Lots of piggies. Bacon as far as the eyes can see. Can there be a spider that spells stuff out? Uh, little messages to my wormy? I swear to God. Drink the goddamn turpentine or I'm gonna give fucking Rambo to cut the fucking worm out. They drew first blood, not me. They drew first blood. No, no, no. That kid is fucking crazy. I'll do it, but not here. What? Why not? I want to be comfortable and in a good environment when I bring my child into this world. I'm fucking done. I just want to go someplace where it, it'll be happy when it comes out. Okay, Floyd. Where do you want to do this? Can we do it at Disney World? No, I'm not driving you to fucking Disney World so you can drink turpentine and give birth to a fucking buttworm. Fine, how about your place? You can do it in the fucking yard. Fine. Okay, Floyd, it's time to take your medicine. Is this gonna kill me? No, no, no. It's completely safe. Are you sure? Nigga, how am I supposed to know? I'm not a fucking doctor. I'm scared. Look, man, the radio said this is what you do. All right, and as we all know, the media never lies. Yeah, they never lie, do they? Nope, never ever. Well, down the hatch. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, I don't feel so good. What the fuck is those? <laughs> Shit. Yo, this ain't gonna work if you're just gonna puke it up.
Nigga, get the fuck up and do it again. You forgot to stick pine cones up your ass. Floyd, can you hear me? Floyd, get up and do it again. If you're just going to be a bitch and lay there, fine. Do me a favor while you're out here, keep an eye on fucking Rambo. I think he's going to kill some of those chickens. Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Mom? Mom? You're my son? Yeah, who else would I be? I mean, aside from a butt worm, who else would I be? I don't know. What happened? Well, from the looks of things, a lot. We need to find Tom. Is that my dad? Maybe? Yay! I get to meet my dad! So this motherfucker's just laying in your front yard passed out? Yeah, he just threw up and passed out. Didn't even put no pine cones up his ass. You were supposed to boil the pine cones and use tampons in your ass. And you say tomato, I say shove pine cones up your ass. Can I get a dollar? No. Why would I give a fish a dollar? Let me get a dollar, man. You a fish. It's just gonna get all wet. Come on, man. Just give me a dollar. Bruh, just give him a dollar. I'm not gonna give a fish a dollar. I'll suck your dick for a dollar. You ain't even got no lips. I got those fish lips. Bruh, just give him a dollar. No, man. If I give them a dollar, they all just gonna be asking for a dollar all the time. Come on, I bit your hook. Now give me a dollar. He makes a good point. Don't encourage this motherfucker. Man, just give me a dollar. You sounding like a junkie right now. Tom, look who is here. Hang on, I'm dealing with this fish. Dad. Look here, fish. You ain't getting no goddamn dollar. Bruh, just give him a dollar. Hey, hey, Dad. I said, I'm arguing with this fucking fish. Shut your mouth. Mom, Dad's being mean to me. How dare you treat our son this way? Yo, just pay the fish, bro. You need to handle your family situation. Fuck this fish. What the fuck is you talking about with this dad? I'm not your fucking father. But... Mom said... Floyd, did you tell this motherfucker I'm his dad? I said maybe? Who's my dad? I swear to Christ. Technically, your dad is another bubble. But for all intents and purposes, your dad's a transsexual mess zombie with a brony shirt on. What? Can we keep him? How are you gonna feed him? You do know what he eats, right? No. He said he eats semen, Floyd. Now I can feed him. First off, Gross. Secondly, pretty sure you shooting blanks. So what do I do? We need to send him somewhere where he can eat. Where am I going? I know where to send him. You thinking what I'm thinking? San, San Francisco. Francisco. But I just became a mom. Lloyd, I swear to Christ, I'm gonna sell you to the fucking fish if you keep saying dumbass shit. Hey, don't talk. To my mom like that dad again he ain't your fucking mom yo man you want me to call you in a boat yeah make that shit happen i don't want him to leave upward will starve to death here and if i see you fucking feed him i will fucking shoot you fine mike you got that number Already ahead of you. Yeah, I need a one-way ticket to San Francisco. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm not your fucking dad. Bye, son! Never forget you guys. Well, I guess that's that, huh? Yeah, thank God. That shit was fucking ridiculous. How you think he's doing?
I don't care. Country road, take me home to a backwoods creek down a long dirt road. If it means no headstone, at least I'll be, I'll be where I belong. I'm so problematic that I'm probably a problematic Popping aspirin cause my head is hurting Hotel bedroom lips and curtains Sheets everywhere like a storm is passed In fact it looks like I got into a wrestling match Empty bottle of Jack, I can tell it to that I can smell it in fact, it's like death and ass Think for a minute and roll over and look To my left is an open book, a bible To my right is a guilty conscience, her name is Brooke My rival, at least I think her name is Brooke She's asleep and I'm giving her the lamest look Move her head back so that I can see your face Cause it was dark when I met her at the game and took her by five minutes to get her inside the whip Another five minutes to get her beside the lips Never tried really man, I really tried to slip out But it was just Bruh, what the fuck is that? It looks like an Indian village Yo, who the fuck is that? It looks like I don't know why he got a Bugatti grill on that dirt bike Yo, let's go check that shit the fuck out. This motherfucker ODing. Dude, what the fuck do we do? Man, give me a sec. I gotta find my fucking book. Fucking book? This motherfucker's dying. You gotta stick him in the heart with this needle. Does it have to be exact? You're sticking him in the heart. Yeah, it's gotta be exact. Shit, give me a magic marker so I can mark where I gotta fucking stick this thing. Here, man. <laughs> Okay, you gotta stick them hard enough to go past the breastplate, then push the plunger. Bruh, I ain't got a plunger, and this ain't a fucking toilet. The top of the needle in that little rubber thing is the plunger. Bruh, what the fuck is gonna happen? I don't know, he's gonna come back to life or something. Oh fuck, man, oh fuck! Dude, come on, we gotta do this. Okay, man, on the count of three. Okay. One, two... 
Wait, wait, wait. What? Is this going to hurt? I don't know, man. Mike, is, is this going to hurt him? Bruh. Okay. One, two, three. Ow! Fuck! Yes, he's alive. Bruh. Well, that explains what happens. All right, man. We need to go talk to the mayor. And where the fuck is Floyd? I don't know. He probably uh, got lost or something. Tom! Mike! Someone help! Minds, high time, low fall, thin lines, both 